Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of PLA with myself, Nick, and Bruno. Um, we've got a couple of questions with us today, and we're going to be jumping straight into them. Uh, the first question, Nick, uh, comes from a managing agent, and the question goes as follows. Like, I have a tenant uh, that moved out of a property at the end of last month, uh, and we obtained uh, three codes from different contractors to fix a couple of issues in the apartment that the tenant was obviously staying in. Um, so the landlord has sent them a message stating that uh, they, the agent, um, should use the entire deposit to cover all the repairs and let him know of the outcome, right? It seems as if he is placing the responsibility of finalizing the matter on myself as the agent and the tenant to resolve. Um, so it seems as if the, the actual landlord here, Nick, is distancing himself from the exiting the exit inspection and how the repairs are going to be done and etc and so the question then from the agent becomes how can we handle this diplomatically uh this is a managed lease and in the light of the fact that the tenant has already moved out uh, and we need to refund the tenant's deposit okay so so it's interesting because um look the 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 couple of elements here the, the first thing is there doesn't seem to be a problem with regards to the actual reinstatement of the premises so uh, the tenants moved out there needs to be some sort of uh, refund of the deposit provided of course is not damaged to the premises if it's damaged to the premises the tenants can be liable for it and the deposit is the uh, asset which is kept by the landlord in order to address those problems the landlord in the circumstances has gone and he has got three different quotes um, you know, for, for the repairs on the premises. So from that perspective, this sounds like the landlord's doing everything correct, okay? Um, the, the question then comes, we obviously, we don't know the extent of the damages or, or whatever the, the case is, but the landlord having, you know, got three quotes, I doubt very much this is a circumstance where, you know, one quote is very little and the other one is the most expensive one and the landlord's just trying to use up the deposit. There'd really be no need for the landlord. Do that in the circumstances, and in any event, the landlord is entitled to elect who they want to remedy the property in the circumstances. So there seems to be a suggestion that the the entire deposit is going to be used. I'm assuming that um, the quotations for the repair of the property exceed the value that is held in the deposit. In which circumstance, the landlord is perfectly entitled to use the entire deposit. Okay, if there are damages on the on a, on a property to the value of ten thousand rand, and you only have a five thousand rand deposit, the landlord is entitled to use the entire five thousand rand, and nothing would be refundable to the tenant. That's absolutely legal. That is the way it works. And ultimately, if that is the circumstance, the landlord still has a claim for the balance against the tenant in the circumstance. So there doesn't seem to be any problem there. Uh, that all seems very fun, okay? Just because a, a, a deposit needs to be refunded doesn't mean that it has to be, okay? I don't know if there's mm -hmm. a worry there. The yeah. other the other uh, second part of the question really is the agent saying, well, you know, the landlord is expecting us now to engage with the tenant and, and sort out this problem. Um, and there doesn't seem to be anything that's really a problem there either. The, the, the writer makes the comment at the end, this is a managed lease agreement, okay? So if it is a managed lease agreement, it's not something like a, uh, a procurement mandate where the only expectation of the agent was to procure the tenants and then walk away from the circumstance the landlord's going yeah. to handle all of the obligations thereafter. Um, if it was a procurement mandate, then I, I agree that the agent in the circumstances could say, well, look, that's not what my mandate says. I was supposed to get you a tenant and then I walk away from the circumstances. In this particular circumstance, it looks like because they say it's a, a management mandate, um this this probably does fall within the realm of obligations that you have in respect to the particular lease agreement you need to deal with the tenant relations so so really uh, it doesn't seem like there's a problem here that you would be expected as the agent to handle something like this unless there is for some reason you've got a very specific mandate uh, which says i only deal with rental collections and everything else is the landlord's you know the landlord's responsibility and then the question is going to come down to, well, what are the specific terms of the mandate which would be um, So you hope that you have a written agreement in the circumstances. It says, I only do A, B, C, and I don't do D, E, F. Um, in those circumstances, look at your mandate, find out where your specific parameters are. 
Um, but otherwise, I mean, it, it does seem like a, a perfectly valid circumstance. You know, you've got a handle and um, I, I don't see anything wrong with the, the use of the deposit in the circumstances. Everything seems to my board. So you simply let the tenant know. Unfortunately, there are, you know, damages on the property and your deposit is, is going to be used in full towards the, uh, the damages on the property. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Nick. Um, it seems to be um, straightforward there. And if there are any further challenges, then they can contact us and we would uh, gladly answer further questions or see if we can actually uh, come on board to assist.